Hidden Mickeys are hidden everywhere around the Walt Disney World Resort, and they can be a really fun thing you can be on the lookout for the next time you're on vacation. Hey guys, it's Ryan, and today we're going to be counting down 8 Hidden Mickeys you can find at Disney World. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is an amazing trackless ride that features Mickey and Minnie Mouse. And of course, this attraction has a lot of hidden Mickeys. One of them can be found in the city scene where Pete is on the jackhammer. If you look behind him, you can see an ice cream shop with a big ice cream cone that has three scoops. When Pete turns on the jackhammer and shakes the whole street, the ice cream scoops fall to their side to form our first hidden Mickey. This next hidden Mickey is during the pre-show film for the Tower of Terror. In the film, it tells the story of what happened to four guests in a bellhop that enter the elevators during a stormy Halloween night. If you look really closely at the little girl, you will notice that she is holding a Mickey Mouse plush. Now I have a question for you guys. Does this count as a hidden Mickey, or is it just the three circles that form a Mickey that count? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. This next hidden Mickey takes us to a galaxy far, far away to Galaxy's Edge. One of the coolest things at Galaxy's Edge is the life-size Millennium Falcon that is at the entrance for Smuggler's Run. If you get up close to the Falcon and look under the cockpit, you can spot a hidden Mickey. And now there's a bonus hidden item next to the Mickey. It is a little baby Millennial Falcon. All you have to do to find the Falcon is just follow the pipes to the right of the Mickey to find the Falcon, or vice versa, and follow the pipes to the left of the Falcon to find the Mickey. So our fifth hidden Mickey is at the Magic Kingdom in Philhar Magic. So as you make your way to the music hall, you will pass by a beautiful mural of different musical instruments. The background of the mural has splashes of white paint, and if you look under the trumpets, you can see some of the paint has formed a hidden Mickey. Guten Tag from the Germany Pavilion at Epcot, where we will be able to find our next hidden Mickey. Above the entrance of the Das Kaff House, there are three knights. The hidden Mickey is on the crown of the knight on the left. This one is small, but easy to find if you know where to look. Our next hidden Mickey is a not-so-hidden Mickey that can be found in the Living with the Land ride in the Land Pavilion at Epcot. Living with the Land is a slow-moving boat ride that takes guests on a tour of different environments and greenhouses. One part of the ride is this red-tinted room where they have tanks of different kinds of fish. At the end are these long tubes that are filled with water. As your boat passes by, you may notice a metal cage in the shape of a Mickey in one of the tubes. Heading to Tomorrowland and the Magic Kingdom to Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin, this is a fun ride where you help Buzz defeat the evil Emperor Zerg. In the queue, you can see a map that shows sectors of the galaxy. In Sector 1, you will see a planet called Polis Prime, and you will see that one of its continents looks very familiar. This, of course, is Mickey Mouse. Our last hidden Mickey will be found on one of my favorite rides, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. The People Mover is a relaxing ride that takes you around Tomorrowland and even takes you inside Space Mountain. On the ride, you will also pass by a woman getting her hair done, and if you look on her belt buckle, you will see a hidden Mickey. So there you have it, 8 hidden Mickeys you can be on the lookout for the next time you are at Disney World. Let me know in the comments if you have seen any of these Mickeys, and there are plenty more we could talk about, so be on the lookout for a part 2. Make sure you are subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell so you will be notified when I upload a video. I upload a news video every Saturday talking about everything that happens at the parks, plus several videos throughout the week like this one as well. This has been Ryan, I hope you have a good day, and I will see you guys later.